Hi everyone and welcome to our video tutorial today on our waitlist feature. This is a great tool to use, especially for those of you who are fully booked at times throughout the year and still have guests calling and inquiring about availability and potentially want you to keep their details just in case you receive some cancellations. Our waitlist feature is a really great way to manage that. What you're able to do when you're on your booking chart, in the top right corner you'll see the new waitlist booking option. A pop-up box will appear allowing us to record the guest information and dates that they're wanting to come and stay. So you'll need to enter the guest details. As an example, I'm going to pop in here for Jane Doe. She's wanting to travel from the 19th of May for three nights and she's specifically looking for a family villa, which we can see quite clearly if we select the drop down is unavailable during those dates. Down the bottom of the page, you'll then have some additional waitlist options. This is where we can make some slight adjustments to see if Jane is potentially flexible with her dates or even the style of accommodation that she's wanting to book. So if she is interested in potentially being flexible with her arrival and departure dates, you can enable this here and set those. You can also enable whether or not she's flexible for the length of her stay. If not, leave it as is. And then on the right, you have similar adjustments you can make in terms of the category that she wants to stay in or even the specific site. So if she is set on these particular dates and style of accommodation, all we would do is select save. Now what happens with that is it goes towards our wait list list in the system. And when you're on your booking chart, if we expand this open, you're actually going to see a list of current guests that are essentially waiting for a booking to become available. So you can see down the bottom here, Jane Doe is in red. And that's because what she is wanting is the family villa specifically over those dates. And she's not flexible with any anything within that. And we can clearly see it's fully booked over those dates. However, we can see another one that's in the system here for John, and that's advising that he is specifically after an unpowered RV site and the dates that he is essentially wanting to possibly come and stay. And you can also see what is actually available within here for him to book. So when we hover, it actually shows exactly where we could place his booking. If we wanted to actually email John and give him the opportunity to go and actually make that booking and drop it in himself and make payment via new book online, we would simply click and then select send confirmation link. That will then take us to our send contact page where it pulls through our waitlist confirmation template and that will send off to John, giving him a link so that he can then go and process his credit card online and the booking will drop in as a confirmed booking. Separate to the waitlist slide out that we have on the booking chart, you'll also note that in your main menu search, we have the full waitlist, which will show all waitlist bookings within your system. The best thing about this is that you can actually bulk select and send confirmation links through to all of these guests from here as well. You can also see how many sites are actually available within each of those. As an example, I can untick the ones that still do not have any availability and then just send the confirmation link through to Eric and John. Once that's sent off, again, they can simply click the link to make the booking. If by chance another person has made a booking and it's no longer available, the guest will be prompted that the site or room type is no longer available. Lastly, I would like to note down that our front desk page allows you to add some shortcuts to the wait list on here. If we click on the logo, the first area I'd like to point out is our instant snapshot where you can insert the wait list booking section, which is really helpful because it gives you an interactive list. So I can actually tick these bookings and send a confirmation directly from here so that they can make their booking. Alternatively, I also have the ability to insert the gauge, which once I click onto here will take me to the full waitlist list within the system. If we head back just to show you how to configure those, remember in your top right corner of your front desk screen, simply click on the tab configuration, click into the area you'd like to add the item to, select the plus sign and then save each section. That does bring us to the end of our video tutorial today on our waitlist feature. We hope you've enjoyed and we look forward to seeing you in our next video tutorial.